Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with an assembly video for one of our die sets. This is die number 1196, the Flutter Charms, and you can check out all of our die designs at KarenBerniston.com. These are a pretty straightforward little charm set, 10 pieces in the set to be able to make everything that you see here. You can see those dies on the back, and I have already chosen out of my scrap bin all the colors that I will need. I'll start with the three dies that are combined to make the B. And for the wings, there is an optional stencil emboss feature. So I'm going to put double-sided score tape on the back of my shimmer white cardstock, and that will basically give me the emboss once I run it through the machine. I don't have to rerun it through with an embossing sandwich just because I get that extra cushion from the tape. Now, since these dies are so small, you can use a small die cutting machine if you have one. So I am using my Dress My Craft Easy Cuts machine. Okay, so B overlay out of black, the body out of yellow, and then for the wings, there's that optional stencil emboss feature. So because of the score tape, it's been embossed, but then if I wanted to further highlight that pattern, I could take a pen and go in there and stencil it. So here's how it looks both embossed and stenciled. The die set includes a small honeycomb that makes a nice backdrop for the B. For glue, I like my Lineco Neutral pH Adhesive in my fine tip bottle. We do sell both of those items on our website. And I just put the glue around the striped area on the back of the overlay, and then I just put the body piece to that. So that size just a tiny bit smaller than the black one so that it'll fit on there nicely. Because I used score tape, the wings are self-adhesive, so then I could just peel them up and stick them to the bee at whatever angle I like. And depending on the project, you may want to use the honeycomb that is included. It makes a great little backdrop for the bee. The butterfly is just two pieces. It's the butterfly and the body. So whatever colors you want and just layer those together. And what's nice about these being charms is that you always have the option to either use the little hole at the top to dangle your item from a pop-up or a project, or you can just take your scissors and cut that hole off if you want to use them as standalone elements. The dragonfly also comes with two pieces that can be layered over the top of each other, or you can use those individually. So I've done a glitter paper for the solid dragonfly and then a black cardstock for the overlay, and I'm only going to attach them up the middle of the body so that the wings can actually kind of separate and give some dimension. There are two flowers in the set that are not charms, they're just decorator pieces. They do have a stencil emboss feature to be able to draw on the centers. If you want to keep your flowers very flat, that's a great way to add centers. But then if you want to, you could also switch out and use some kind of gemstone in the center. And that's all there is to it. Like I said, a very straightforward little set. I used the flutter charms on our new landscape rectangle accordion. They fit so nicely in all the little rectangles there. You can see the honeycomb and the bee and the flowers used on this project. And I used mirror cardstock for the bees so that they would be shiny. And then here's a cute landscape rectangle accordion by Karen Aiken. Notice that she's filled in some of the hexagons on the honeycomb and put some glitter over the top. The same thing with the wings of the bee. They have glitter on them as well. Just love this. She used our new alphabet set to spell out be happy. And then on the back, she used our word set 14, sending a smile. Another great card by Karen Aiken using the bee on the front and the honeycomb. And then she's created a magnetic closure. And what is revealed is a pop-up large bee made using our mini ball pop-up. This is such a sweet card by Karen Aiken where she's used our flower pivot panels as the pop-up but then swapped out to use those dragonflies from the flutter charms. Another landscape rectangle accordion by Karen Aiken, a three-pager where she's incorporated the flutter charms, the dragonflies in the middle, and the flowers on the first page. Another card by Karen Aiken. I like her glittering on the edges of the butterfly and how she layered it. This is a sympathy card, two-page landscape rectangle accordion. On the back, she has her beautiful handwriting, sending caring thoughts your way. And in the front uses our big with sympathy die set. In this epic three bears card by Fran Sabad, she has the bees and the flowers creating the backdrop underneath the bears. Lois Bach with some butterflies from the Flutter Charms on this two-page hi there landscape rectangle accordion. I love this card front by Frances Byrne where she's used the dragonflies along with some very pretty floral pattern paper. 
Sandy Diller made these beautiful layered tags using the flutter charms. I like her inverse Bs. Notice that the overlay is cut out of yellow and the body is cut out of black. This cute card by Kelly Booth uses our charm accordion along with the flutter charms. On this card by Kelly, she used our woven basket box card and incorporated the bees from the flutter charms. This card by Kelly uses that big butterfly from the flutter charms, but then mixes it with butterflies from our butterfly collage add-ons. So really great illustration of how all the dies work together. And for this one, Kelly has the butterfly and the dragonfly and the flowers all combined into a two-page landscape rectangle accordion. The Flutter Charms die set is available now at a lot of your favorite local and online retailers, as well as from our website, karenberniston.com. Thanks for watching. If you click on the website link, you'll go to karenberniston.com, where you can purchase these dies, as well as find links to our other social media accounts. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.